just to kind of make all the ends meet. Um, I work a second job um, at UPS. There's no end in sight for teachers on strike in Southwest Washington school districts. Longview, Ridgefield, Vancouver, Evergreen, Camas, Washougal, Hawkinson, and Battleground teachers all on the picket line striking mostly over money. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Haw. And I'm Dan Tilkin. It is day two of the strike in Evergreen and Washougal. We've already learned there will be no school again tomorrow in those districts as well as Hawkinson. Our Lisa Balick is live in Vancouver now with the very latest. Lisa, what can you tell us? Well, here in the Vancouver School District, the negotiators have been at the table all day long for both the teachers and the district trying to figure things out. Meanwhile, the school buildings here that should have been full of skids on, kids on day one are empty. All they're doing right now is washing the windows and hoping they'll be back sometime soon. Now, teachers are marching on picket lines during school hours, often joined by their children who would normally be in class. Now, meanwhile, over in the Evergreen District, negotiations are on hold. The mediator is unable to meet with both sides until Saturday, so they've said no school tomorrow in that district. Now, teachers are striking for more money than the raises districts are offering. I've talked with relatively new teachers who work other jobs during the school year to make ends meet to help pay for basics, including child care, student loans. I'm living at home because I have a lot of student loans to pay off, so it doesn't make sense for me to have to also pay a lot of rent. So my parents are gracious enough to have me live at home, but it'd be nice to be able to live on my own. And by the way, Nicole's been teaching for four years. I checked on salary proposals with the districts. They say starting salary in Vancouver now is about $44,000, $83,000 at the top. In Evergreen, it's about $47,000 for new teachers. That would go up to fifty dollars under the district proposal. Top teacher salaries there right now, about $87,000. They would go up to about $96,000. Now, the State Education Association, though, is urging teachers to push for a 15% hike. Those districts, though, are offering roughly about half of that. Now, as of this hour, we know, again, no school tomorrow in Evergreen and Hawkinson. We're waiting to hear about Vancouver again because they are at the bargaining table at this hour. Live in Vancouver, Lisa Bay, like Coin 6 News. And we went out to Skyview High School this morning in Vancouver where teachers were picketing. It was supposed to be the first day of school there, and even though classes were canceled, some students came out to support their teachers. It's a slight inconvenience to people, but it needs to happen. I mean, it just has to happen. Teachers have been underpaid for years and years. They're shaping my future, and they're not being paid enough. That's, I don't think that's right. In all, 200 of the nearly 300 districts in Washington are still in negotiations with their teachers. We also reached out to Governor Jay Inslee this morning for his thoughts on the strikes. His office issued the statement saying the governor's office has not intervened in local bargaining issues before, and I don't expect that to change this year. However, we know that everyone involved, the districts, educators, parents, and students, are interested in reaching an agreement as soon as possible. We will continue to follow the contract talks that are underway in Southwest Washington, both on air and as always online. As soon as deals are made or more school days are canceled, we will be sure to pass that information.